We're on day four of our Beyond the Destruction series, marking 10 years since the Moore tornado in 2013. And for one student who survived the storm at Briarwood Elementary, her mother always does something special for May 20th. And this year, she came to meet our Lacey Swope. Just look at that, uh, all the debris around that thing. Oh my gosh. Visibility is a lot less. School in Moore has been hit, an elementary school. We believe it is Briarwood Elementary School. That's the word we're getting. That's going to Almost be immediately after the EF5 tornado hit Briarwood Elementary in 2013, little seven year old Isabella Rojas meticulously told us what happened. We laid down under the desk. And then whenever I saw all this rain coming on the window, the tornado went in and I was so afraid that um, I was hanging on to one of the desks and then um, I fell back and then um, all the dirt started getting in my eyes and all my clothes. That I really got stuck because all the desks were on top of us and the teacher got stuck our teacher having her legs stuck in all the rubble. Today, she's 17, a junior at Southmore, and once again telling us about that day. And she managed to just say, like, everyone, like, scream for help. Just calmly, though, scream for help, though. And we're like, OK. So we start screaming, and we do hear footsteps and voices. And we're like, there's people, there's people, scream louder. And we're screaming, and someone, I think it was the firefighters, end up coming to dig us out of the rubble and takes us up one by one. Hello. So the idea is just that everyone's in here, but they're out this time at our downtown studios. We're going to go downstairs, and then we will go look in the studio for a minute. Every year since the tornado, Isabella's mom has marked May 20th by taking yeah. her daughter to do something yeah, special. Another monitor we can stand in front of. We'll do weather from there. That's really cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's awesome. During severe weather, I'm right here. So we're just, we have a straight line of vision that's to each other. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. This year, she asked if she could come visit News 9 and meet our meteorologists. Bella, David Hi. Payne, nice Hi. to meet you. Nice to meet you. See you Hi. on TV all the time. Isabella's story is one few people will ever experience. Um, it's impacted wow. her emotionally. For the longest time, she would have to have the light on to even walk, you know, from her bedroom to the bathroom, which is like three feet. But Isabella's mom found her a therapist and made sure she stayed with her classmates. I didn't want Isabella to have any behavioral issues and for another school to be like, oh, don't worry, she was in the tornado, it'll, it, it'll be fine. I wanted her to be at Briarwood. Everybody at Briarwood went to the tornado. I don't think it would be the same if I grew, if I moved somewhere else because um, no one would have known what it was like. Well, my name is Isabella Rojas. Rojas, how old are you? Seven. Seven, what grade are you? First. First grade. Are you teach okay? Yes, she's okay. Isabella still keeps in touch with the teacher that was pulled from the rubble, and many of those same classmates will graduate together next year, bonded by a storm that ripped everything apart. We want to hear what the teacher says about where the kids were right. and how they survived this thing. Lacey Swope, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.